Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horsehaven World Adventures. So I've got my two tier three Shires here and we're gonna go and try and get the tier four. I've had a few attempts at this so far. I'm not having much luck. And today is also not gonna be that day. So we've got another tier three, this time a female. The dreaded Amber Fairy Horse that I have not been able to get, but I have some gems that I managed to get from doing my steeplechases. So that's increased our chance to 35%. So it's bigger than the tier twos. Not combined, but come on, 35%, please be today. No! Oh, I should have got more gems. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do if I wanna get this horse any higher up in tiers. So I've got my meal Wicked Stepmother here and I'm gonna breed it to a friend's tier four because I only have the tier three and I only have one. I only have the meal, so ideally I want the tier four. But if we don't get the tier four, I'm hoping for the tier three female. Oh, that was really close. What did we land on? Oh, we got another meal. No, I don't need that. So I have one coupon in the coupon shop. And um, I got that from the lasso event, which is going to end in an R. So the question is, when this lasso event ends, I want to see if I still have my coupon. I think I will. So I'm going to go in here and do the Russian steeplechase because I'm going to go and get the jump skill on um, my tier 3 chief horse. So we'll take them into this and they need to get to the 5000 meter mark. So that will bring them up to gold 2 because they're currently sitting on gold 1. So I'm hoping that I don't have to spend too many diamonds to get to 5000 meters because it doesn't have like any other good skills right now. So I have had to use a few diamonds a few times in my free continues, but we have made it to 5,000. So that means we're going to get to our goal to start on jump now, which will set us up nicely for continuing to work on this horse. So there is a new event out in Horsehaven. So this is the exotic horses. Collect five horses from the exotic horses to get Victoria for free. You can get five of them from subsequent breeding map event or tapping the corresponding pictures. So Victoria is the one we get for free if we manage to collect the other five from this event. So the breeding map event is back since so this is a time limited breeding event. So the first horse that is on offer from this is Sheriff. And I do have most of the horses that I need for this. I do have Cowboy Morgan, but I have the wrong gender of Cowboy, so we're going to have to sort that out. So I'm going to take my female cowboy to a friend's male cowboy because at the minute the problem I have is both my Morgan and my cowboy are both females and I need a male. So I'm going to go after a male cowboy. So that's a male. What's this one? This is also a male. And the tier three is also a male. So regardless of what one we land on, we've got a male cowboy. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want right now. So then I can breed those two together to try and get Sheriff. Oh, it nearly landed on tier three. I would have been really pleased with that, but well, we got what we need to get Sheriff anyway. So down here in the bottom left corner, we have the shop and inside the shop we have Meadow. So this item is 3000 gold from what I've seen on all the ranches. And the reason you want to place these down is because when these are ready, you get extra stable spaces. Well, they're kind of like ground stable spaces, except it's a Meadow rather than a ground stable. And uh, the only one that I've so far seen that it's not available on is the Fancy Ranch. That's the only one that doesn't seem to be available on. There's a field in there I haven't used. I don't even know how long that's been there. Ah, oh, right, okay, I better place that down. It annoys me now because uh, these aren't equal. But I'm just gonna I'll have to sort that out later. But we'll get, we'll get that upgraded. But anyway, so yeah, the meadows um, I'm gonna place down and then whenever they're ready, we can actually take a look at them. But uh, I'm going to make sure I put them on every single ranch that I can have them available. As I said, the only one that doesn't have them right now is the Fantasy Ranch. Don't know if that's going to change or anything like that. But we'll try and get these upgraded as much as we can. To the point that it starts to cost me diamonds. Because I don't have a lot of diamonds right now. So I'm not probably going to spend any for the moment. Now, the last one we have to place is the German Ranch one. Just get those out of the mines first. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm gaining gemstones because of all the horses that are coming out in the Bringer Society that I need. Okay, right, well, our last meadow. If it would please, come on. Thank you. I swear, sometimes I think I can't drag things out of the shop. 
like at all. I'm gonna go ahead and try again for the tier 4 Shire. Because I'd like to get the tier 4 Shire done so I can work on the Clyde still. Come on. Give us the tier 4. No, okay, right, well, yeah, that wasn't gonna happen today. So right now, in the breeding map event, if you click on an empty breeding house, it will bring up these breeding maps. Now, right now on the UK one, we've got Isabel Derby and Clown. So Isabel Derby is eight out of nine. That means I have eight out of the nine required breeds to breed Isabel Derby. And for Klein, I have all nine that are needed. Now, um, you need to click on an empty breeding house to be able to see the breeding maps. But um, if we go in here and look at Klein, as you can see, I have every single horse needed to breed Klein. But if I just had Warlander and Restrike, I could still try and braid it. And then for the Isabel Derby, Pasofino and Glacial Fairy Horse. And uh, the Suffolk Punch is the one that I'm missing from this bunch in here. So if you don't have either of those horses and you want them, this is the perfect time. As long as obviously you have some of the other ones that you need for it. Now I'm going to go ahead here and try for the Mantasso again. So first off, there is a new feature that they have added, which I will show you in a second. So if we click on Braid here... So whenever you go to breed horses right now, you can now actually, instead of spending diamonds to increase your chances, you can watch a video. So I haven't actually tested this just yet to see how many times I can watch a video, but I would guess it's only a few times. Typically they're, they're limited, they don't let you have as many as you want, but I'm going to use it on a horse that's rarer and harder to get than Ventasso, even though the Ventasso has been an absolute nightmare for me, and I'm sure if you've seen the last couple of videos, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not even surprised anymore. Breeding in the last month's been awful. So our USA Meadow is ready. And um, I want to see if I can move a horse into that, but I'll have a look at the upgrades first. So it costs another 6000 for another room in this. They don't give a huge amount of space. That's the only thing I would say. Can we move something from the ground stable into it? No, that only lets us move backwards and forwards between the regular stables and the ground stable. We have to click on this itself. Yeah, okay, so we can move ones from the stable into there. We'll move this one in there for the moment. I just want something to test it with. All right, let's go in here and have a look. Oh, we got a new loading screen. Oh, wow, this is laggy. That is so laggy. I don't think we're going to stay in here because this is horrendous. I don't think I'm going to put anything important in there, uh -huh, because loading that seems to be quite horrendous. It's taken forever. Yeah, that um, that could do with some tweaking, Horse Haven. That is really, really bad. I hope the rest of them aren't as bad as this. It must be all that grass texture. It's just absolutely lagging like hell. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade my meadow. I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to increase my chance of getting the tier 4 Wicked Stepmother by using the videos to increase our chances. So let's see how many we can do. Okay, so I was able to watch videos three times and now it's grayed the bottom out. So we were able to watch three free videos on this horse. I assume once we use those three that that's it. <gasps> no, really? Oh, okay. Another tier 3. Well, at least it's a female this time. I'm just going to keep upgrading these meadows, either till they start to cost diamonds, or I just can't upgrade them anymore. One or the other. So, that's that one done. Right, UK one. Now, I'll also upgrade this. There we go. I wish these would give more spaces. That's the only criticism I really have of these. I love the fact that we've got more spaces. I missed out on like a premier stable during the event where I got chief, which was kind of saddening, to be fair. Right, this other one needs upgraded. There we go. That's them all in progress. So the puzzle pieces have changed. So in the US racing right now, we have the availability of Icy Derby, Exclusive Vita, and Victory Derby. Now, Icy Derby is a horse that I've been waiting on for a really long time because it has not been available for free that I can think of in the time that I've played. Or if it was, it was when I started like really early on and I didn't know what I was doing. So um, I'm going to be aiming for Icy Derby because I have Vita and um, 
I also think I have Victory Derby. Do I have Victory Derby? Yeah, I have the puzzle pieces for Victory Derby, so that's not getting any of, <laughs> any of uh, the attention. It'll be Icy Derby the entire way that I'll be focusing on. So I'll put the horse in here and we'll go and get our four boxes that we need. Right, that was the last box that we need for today, so we'll have to come back in 12 hours. We're going to go ahead and upgrade our German meadow here. How much is it going to cost? 15,000, that's a lot. Time to try for our Shire Tier 4 again. Right, come on. I'm trying to see of all of those videos for like the really rare horses that I need. Uh, no Tier 4. Just collector coins here. We're gonna need them to upgrade this French meadow. Yeah, 15,000 for that as well. They all seem to be so far, they all seem to be the same price for the upgrades, so at least there's that, that they're not uh, wildly different. Just clear that meadow up. I've been trying to breed my Wellers up and not having any luck with them either, so I'm gonna try a tier four from a friend and uh, see if we land a little bit better. We've still a huge chance of ending up in the tier one, but we also have at least a 50% chance of not landing on a tier one. We're gonna land a tier one. Oh, I hate this game right now. I'm getting so sick of the bad luck we're having. Just collecting some coins because these upgrades are costing us dearly. That is so expensive. And now for our meadow. At least I know it's only gonna be 15. Yeah, it is. Right. Every little helps right now. Every coin. Because my money is just getting eaten. There is our US meadow. Just upgrade that again. Honestly, I cannot get money fast enough in this game right now. Collecting them for my horses, cleaning the paddocks, you know, producing green feeds. Just the amount of having to breed and upgrade is ridiculous right now. So this is the new exclusive horse Sheriff and we're going to use my Morgan and one of my cowboys to breed this. I am going to use the videos to increase our chances of getting this because we've only 19% chance it is going to cost us diamonds because those two horses are on completely different ranches. That's three videos watched now, so we have a really decent chance. We have 49% chance of getting Sheriff. But considering how it's been going for us so far, I'm not exactly hopeful. Oh, it actually is going to give us the horse. Okay, brilliant. So we now have the new exclusive Sheriff. Brilliant. So there's the tier one. Okay, that's going to Instagram. I'm not overly keen on this horse, to be honest. I mean, I know we have yet to see the other tiers, but overall, not really fussed on the design of this one at all. I mean, we'll have a closer look at it now, but yeah, no. It wouldn't be up there amongst my favorite uh, exclusives, I would say. So this is the tier two sheriff. I have to say, I'm not any keener on this than I am the tier one. It's not a design I'm overly keen on as a horse. I'm obviously going to work on it because I do want to try and get as many of these new exclusives as possible, but I don't really like the horse that much. Uh, we just got another tier one. It is a male, so that's good because we have the female already. Now to try both of the tier ones together of our own. Gives us an 18% chance. Come on. No, we're gonna get another tier one. And so it begins again, honestly. So I've done my daily quest for 20 days in a row. So we also get an extra reward for doing that where we're gonna get leg wraps. I don't really like those leg wraps, to be honest. Right, let's go in here and claim this. 45 diamonds, nice. So there is a new purebreed society out. So we've got the American Indian, the Wartenberger, and the Suffolk Punch. And Suffolk Punch is the one I don't have. So I'm going to be making sure to unlock this. Because I do actually like this horse. I've just never got it. So we'll go ahead. That's going to cost us 70 diamonds. We'll just go ahead and get that. Let's have a look. I think I have some of these horses. The Gotland, the Clydesdale, the Lippin's Honor. Yeah. I have the Black Force. I'm not sure about the Wartenberger though, whether I have it or not, but at least we can begin working towards getting this off a punch because it's 
quite an interesting horse. I like the ribbons in its hair. Okay, next upgrade is 32,000 gold. Oh my god. We're not going to have any money with the way this is going. Honestly. Okay, let's upgrade this one as well. I mean, it'll be worth it in the long run, but dang, is it absolutely demolishing my gold right now. Yeah, another 32,000. Like, we are honestly gonna have to farm so many green feeds to have a hope. Time to go and collect our treasure boxes. There's our first set of Icy Derby pieces, so we're just gonna have to keep working on this until we get the full 80 puzzle pieces. As I've been so busy with trying to breed different horses recently, I haven't really been focusing very much on my Mustang farming, but uh, because of that, my diamonds have taken a severe hit. Especially because I was working on diamond studying some horses as well, which has also eaten into my diamonds, so as well as my gold being quite low with the upgrades and the breeding, my diamonds have taken a hit. So I've been trying to get back into my Mustang farming, which is helping a little bit. Um, I've only sort of been back to it a few days, so I'm gonna have to keep working on it and uh, getting my spins in the ground stable as you can see on the screen right now and uh, hopefully get some more of these horses sold to earn diamonds back. So another thing I just want to mention is the upcoming tier 4 certs that will be coming up in the Pure Breed Society soon. The first one is one of the exclusive horses and um, it is the tier 4 cert for Icy Derby and that's coming up soon. So I'm gonna make sure that I grab that. I really really want that Icy Derby cert so that is probably what is gonna be one of my main focuses. I think I should be fine to get the other ones that I'm gonna show you. So the next one after that is in the Fantasy Horses. So the tier 4 cert coming up next is the Jade Fairy Horse. So I believe I already have the tier 3s of these. I think. And um, then other than that, we have the common horse. Now this is a horse I actually already have, but if you need the tier four cert of this, this is Grun and Gen. So the Grun and Gen is coming up after that. But anyway, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you have a lovely day. Huh? Bye, guys.